Yeah. We need a new world now. <laughs> Oh, I don't think so, bro. I think it's still a wacky world, man. I think it's still wacky out here, but there's a silver lining to this shit. But um, I mean, I, I feel a rejuvenation, a, a shift in the energy. Um, I'm pretty sure everybody out there knows now we have a new president of what? It's just that everybody in America got ADD, so. It's like even before he gets to sit in the White House on January 20th, everybody not even gonna be thinking about that shit like they are right now. You know what I'm saying? Nah. It's just gonna be a regular day now. It's just like, all right, cool. We got Trump out of there, whatever. You know what I'm saying? So. A lot of, I just well, a lot of people, people that was people. the job. That was that was the mission. They don't yeah. care about what. Uh, but what I just hope if we could make issues to the president and shit like that, people should make that heard because. Right now we in a pandemic, so that's something that the president has to deal with, and we could put all our questions and all our everything towards him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just keep on that route. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Social injustice. Let's keep fighting. Even yeah. if it's slowing down, keep fighting it. Just so you can stop. Down. You know what I'm saying? Ain't like, never slowing down. Yeah. So, um, so and we didn't even talk about the guy that got killed in what was that? Philly, the mentally challenged guy. Mm -hmm. wrong. We ain't talk about that, but there's mad other stuff that happened like that. But um, I think I think that was a reflection of the uh, America's leadership at the time. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. now that we did our part and got him up out of there, when when when, they, when it was announced officially, a couple of days Saturday. ago. Uh, Saturday, I would say probably around ten thirty, eleven o'clock ish, something like that. I stayed up and broke day. Friday night, just watching. I wanted to see when they announced because Georgia was at 99% uh, uh, votes in. Uh, PA was at 99%. Uh, I think uh, Arizona was at like 86. But they already called down on certain media spots and Nevada was close. But I felt like Nevada could have been called it. They just didn't want to be the state to call it. And then they it's on them. They want to deal with Let PA and Georgia have it. After they, cause soon as after PA that's called, what, soon as after PA called, Nevada said, "Yeah, um, Biden." But that's where he from, right? Biden. He from, he's from PA. PA. So he's from PA. But uh, I would like to think that they would have. They shout out to Philly. You know what I mean? Shout out to Philly. Shout out to Pittsburgh. <laughs> Yeah, man. Um, all the blue, everything that's blue, man. Shout out to y'all, man. Yeah, man. Um, it's a lot of, lot yeah, of people. a couple vacation spots, you know what I mean? A lot of people <laughs> out there are upset and like, why are we picking Biden? Why are y'all so ecstatic? Fuck off. All these conspiracy theories and Fuck stuff. Fuck off. Fuck off. Listen, man, if, even if those simple-minded people, if, you're, if your thought is, oh, but we got to pick the lesser two, it was then you probably, if you was thinking Trump was the lesser two, then you're a nigga. You know what I'm saying? It's just... You gotta understand what was going on at this point in this fucking election. You know what I'm saying? We just had to get him out of there. His his representation for what he thought America what we was supposed to be. Yeah, it was not cool. He he was trying to bring Americana back. You know what I'm he saying? was trying to make this shit a dictatorship, man. He was trying to get rid of and destroy democracy. The so, motherfucker fed the fucking national champs burgers and nuggets. And fries from McDonald's, like bro. Yeah, because they was from college, so it was this like nineteen fifties, like though. a school trip. Yeah, this like their kids. Then. But wasn't it the pandemic was starting around that time, right? Yeah. Yeah, so it, they couldn't get no cooks or nothing, so he ordered. <laughs> I'm like, bro, what the fuck is this? They could have got cooks, bro. But um, uh, yeah, that that. I don't know if it felt good or not, but it was like... It felt good. It was like a destination hit, like, yo, get them out of there, you know what I mean? It felt good to see the people celebrate and see Spike Lee throw a party. That, that was Boy, lit. I on. mean, um... They had to come out to... <laughs> corona cases are going up, so it's like, uh, Should we be out in the streets like this? But I understand the joyism where people have felt enduring this shit for four years. On yeah. top of if you've been in tune and seen the racial uh, pot that was boiling in this country, we've actually endured it for 12 years. Because yeah. from Obama's first presidency, you've seen the bigots coming out. So you, it's been over a decade of this racial shit. It in just always country. felt like you got a, like you growing up with a pops that just berates you all the time. So mm -hmm. like, 
and just says ignorant shit. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, yo, my nigga, like, sometimes there's a time and a place for shit. Like, you can act like this in the house all day, but why are you got to do that? Why you the public? camera on, you know on Twitter? Uh, all this, like, why is your old ass on Twitter anyway? You just disrespecting everybody. Like, China's going through this shit as much as we are, and you just disrespecting them, saying that it's their virus. Okay, if it came from there, you know what I'm saying? Like, we wasn't strict enough to, you know what I mean, test our people that was going out there and coming back to not bring it to America. It's not even we wasn't strict enough. You got rid of the, the blanket of the security council that we had here, the health council that would prepare if, for if shit like this was going to happen. You got rid of that to spite Obama because it's what he did. So, <clears throat> you, To me, you should be gone for that alone. Two years ago, you got rid of uh, basically our pandemic council and then two years later we faced with the worst shit ever yeah. so. where it's, it's called corona 19 covid 19 because it comes from 2019 they knew about this shit y'all motherfuckers knew about it too when y'all was posting videos and saying why chinese people eating bats and that was last into, summer and we going into 2020 what still don't got a full control of it like, even though they saying fires they got Vaccine that has been working on like 40,000 people. So wow. 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 When you Google, when you, this is what I'll be saying. You can't piss on my leg and tell me you spilled a cup of water. You look at the CDC guidelines on vaccines and they say it takes three to five years to create a vaccine. So what makes this so special that they have a vaccine? That's what I was asking. Like, what's the, what's the turnaround of the job? Look at that. It's probably like, they probably just got killed off like doing the quarantine, you know what I'm saying? Like so I don't know what's the exact science behind it. Here's my thing. Are you saying that people that get coronavirus still carries it after they get better from it, so they need a vaccine? Is that why your taste buds? It, it, it doesn't it's work. The same. It, you know it's the same shit as it started with the Spanish flu. Flu shot. Now they give it to you so you won't catch it. How does that sound? They not been giving me shit. When I got 13, 12, 13, I was like, you giving it to me so I won't catch you. No, I don't, I don't need that shit. I'm good. So you could catch it and your body become... Yeah, it comes mean to it. It comes comfortable with it. But no, that's not how our body's supposed to work, bro. No. No. Oh, so, um, but yeah. Uh, like, but uh, you know, we got to hold them accountable. And one thing I would like to say to people... I, I, I'm one person that didn't have faith in my own people because there's always a divide between us and what's important isn't important to the masses of us. What I would say is in the past four or five months with all the Black Lives Matter and, uh, and racial injustice and, and the, that what I've seen, what I've seen from my son and Tamika Mallory and, and, and even uh, DL, uh, Killer Mike as always, uh, uh, Trey Deuce, uh, Steven Jackson, a Q, um, and the list goes on and on and on. Yeah. Uh, Kenny Stills, even. Cap. Kaepernick. Can't you see what I'm saying? So deal. there's more voices. Like, I remember I used to be like, who's our leader? We don't have a leader. Everybody we have. Or something fuck like out of here. We have voices. And in this generation, we with this phone. That TV, that's all you need. We all have voices. And once we have people that are fighting the fight and take it there and make it their objective and, 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 and they purpose yeah. and they help put this man into his seat, which has happened before with us, right? Mm -hmm. But what did we do after that? What did we do after that? We celebrated then what? I feel like now we have the right people at the right ages yeah. that when uh, Biden says to uh, African Americans. You stood by me forever. Even in Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. That's how he remains to be a senator. You have to be voted in for, to be there for 40 years, right? Be around the people. But what the yeah. fuck people be talking about? <laughs> On her? So, you have that and he's saying I will have real back. I always had my back. You don't just say, yes. No, it's like, it's like this. All right, I'm glad you said that. Here's a list of things that we need to be taken care of. 
And if you're going to be doing that over there, we need this to be taken care of. You got to give me a plan or something. You can't legalize yeah. marijuana uh, and, and decriminalize it federally and leave these people locked up. You cannot do that. Yeah, you now you now you gotta make people go back and search through all this shit, see what's up, see who did what. You gotta let people go and even give them a shot at certain shit. You know what I'm saying? And then people that's out here, I don't know. You you just gotta. I we just like you said, we just gotta hold them accountable. Cause even with me, if they decriminalize it federally, I want my arrest to be thrown out. Yeah. I've only been arrested for weed, bro. I don't care how minuscule or where at le level it is. Yeah. But it's misdemeanor, I want it thrown out. Yeah, only time no I criminal really, record. Yeah, only time I really got caught up was for marijuana. And I told you the other day, me and Rod the other day, if this was early 2000s, y'all niggas would be pulling bell money up for us as much we, we had in the car. And they seen all of it and say, yo, all right, go ahead. Huh? Yeah, they don't care about this. They don't care. Man. But, but years ago, years ago, we we probably be looking at fifteen years. Yeah, so we just gonna see. I ain't wanna kill y'all. I ain't wanna beat y'all over the head with the um president, with the like, fucking politics and shit. You know what I'm saying? But it's what's what's going on. This right what's now. going on right now, and everything we do is documented. You know what I'm yeah, because Trump still hasn't conceded. He, he he got the people in half the country saying that the election, now the election was rigged, news was fake. Every news channel was fake except Fox News. Fox News says that president-elect is Joe Biden, and now that's fake. He's out golfing while Giuliani is melting, trying to uh, litigate all these cases in all these states. Just to help himself and stop himself from facing the criminal charges that's waiting for you. And people don't accept that or that real and real they shit. Wanted so. to keep him in office. I ain't gonna lie, I'm kinda glad, man. You know, I'll be watching man these YouTube channels that be having time travelers on there and shit. <laughs> A lot of the niggas said, oh, oh, Trump was gonna get real like that. I'm like, yeah, y'all niggas is lying, y'all not gonna <laughs> I'm one that said it. I'm one that felt like yeah, I, I've never I've, in my lifetime I've never seen a one time president I've never seen a one time president think about it yeah, yeah. What we saw, the total you've you seen what we saw Clinton Clinton Bush Bush Obama Oh, I'm not, bro. I don't know what This is. The first Bush with the four. Well, he was being born, bro. Yeah. Yeah, so we see. He won it. He won his Bush national Clinton. 88, and then 92 is when Clinton takes over. So my record, my recollect is from 90. I don't remember the 80s. Yeah, I don't remember we nothing see, from the 80s. We see Clinton, Bush, Obama, and now Trump. He's the only one-term president I've ever seen, and I I kind I kind of felt like uh, I kind of felt like he brung out those 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 racist bigots that never voted. Just like we seen in her, I seen a video of some woman that's ninety-two years old in Atlanta that never voted, and this was her first time voting. It's a lot of that shit. It's not made up rhetoric with people saying this. A lot of people in this country, over 145 million people voted in this country. You see that? that you could do. You could do some. That's that's what I mean by America spoke. Black America spoke. Women of America spoke. That you spoke. You spoke right? Because you could. You saw. We like you said. We saw Clinton. He fucked up. He had. He got head in the room. But it was on, he was already in the second term. Well, that's, that's American shit. All right, cool. Then we see Bush. Then we see Bush. They're like, oh, shit, this nigga did the oil shit. He made it. We don't know about the Twin Towers Tower shit. But that's American shit. I'm Katrina. That's American shit. We see Obama, the the black act or whatever, where you can't see what's going in the food and all that. But that's America. Sometimes you won't get shit like this. Now, this Not just that, but... Look, you are uh, being <laughs> able to monitor you. Uh, All that snowed and shit, yeah. That's Obama. This nigga. Bro, your racist antics and your 
your your white supremacy your some white supremacy that you felt you had inside of you it, like that shit don't it don't feed no more in America, bro. It, they might be out here and like everybody said, that's a fact that you're wrong. Nah, it's it's out here. It's out here. What I'm saying is the that country it's, is split. Yeah, but it's weeding out, bro. Cause you're not gonna tell me that the youth came out to vote and they racist. No, but that's what I told you though. I said eighty seven marks to ever. I don't say that just because of my birth, bro. I'm born that year. You look at it from eighty seven on down. The mentality of urban youth has shifted. And now, I, I'm not I think taking youth, away from the '86 babies, but I just feel I'll like I say youth, not urban youth, because I I really think the the white youth is like, yo, we don't like that racist yeah, shit. But, it's corny, bro. Yeah, because <laughs> the shift in urban youth. They don't just see their peers and their age as that black kids going to jail, bro. How many young yeah. entrepreneurs we know that got their own businesses on Instagram? I, you, you see what I'm saying? Especially, like, if you say that, that's just the beginning. Then, like, the generations after us, like, yes, that's we not, what I'm we're not about. Under that ghetto, gangster shit, nigga. I'm home. I'm, 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 I'm now, Hawaiian. Now, if you <laughs> are on that time, you on that's that you. time. That's you. But that's it's, you. it's a little. It's a smaller window than from when we was growing up and the people ahead of us was growing yeah, up. Yeah, because I feel like I was sort of in that, like, you always told me, like, yo, you one of the realest people I know. And I always took that as confused. Like, why he say that? I don't always be in every war with him and everything. But you always was like, nah, you tell me what's on your mind. If I need you to come with me somewhere, and you be like, nah, I ain't feeling that. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I felt like I was always in that minority where I'm a real person. I'm going to just be me. Like, if I tell you I'm scared, I'm not going to do that. If I tell you I'm down, we're going to do you, that. Like, You know how hard it is? And I never spoke on this, bro. I've never said this. It's you, know how, you know how hard it is to be moving out there? You know how I used to move out there. I 40, 50 niggas with me. With me. You know how hard it is to look at those boys? Like, remember what Mike said, everybody not gonna be there, right? But I always, I always be jumping out the window for my niggas. I didn't care. I, I fight for you, you don't have to, right? But you know how hard it is to be like, damn. Who's really standing? Who, 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 who frauding? We just had a, we just had the interview with Broadway. Y'all go watch that. You know what I'm saying? If you if you look at us now, right? If somebody didn't know us, they'll be like, Broadway, I ain't fucking with him. Mm -hmm. It's the big blood on the love. But when you know and you hear him talk, you be like, boy, that's what I get. It. Yeah. So you see what I'm saying? You don't, it's harder to weed it out. So when you have someone who is real it with they self. Yeah. Nah, cool, I ain't doing that. Nah, that ain't me. I ain't fuck with it. Nah, I ain't doing that. But when shit, shit, even when, when shit real, when shit real, and it's like, yo, boy, I don't give a fuck right now. It's like, all right, let's, he mean it. Even with what we were saying about the president shit, we always saw you as quote unquote the leader of the shit, you know what I'm saying? So we held you accountable for certain shit. It was like, bro, why are you gonna tell me to go do this dumb shit with you and then we both get, you know what I'm saying? So we always was able, well me, I always was able to hold you accountable for whatever you put, you had me go do with you, you know what I'm saying? And it was like, all right, we good. I had, I had to deal with <laughs> y'all parents. I didn't have to deal with people that wasn't from the black parents besides probably uh, Press and Talib. But Tyler pops whip, he'll whip both our ass. So, you know, it, it was different. I didn't, I had to worry about y'all, y'all parents. Like, I, I couldn't. That's why we're not blood. That's why we didn't do that. I, I wasn't thinking for myself. I said, if I do it, gee baby, if I do it, they ain't gonna, they ain't gonna do it. I don't want that for them. Because I've been, I'm. It's not, it's in a vacuum. It's, it's multiple people that's trying to have, nah, uh-uh. We good. We gonna rep our block. 
So, it, I always, like I tell you, I always appreciated you for that, bro. That's why I spend most of my time around you. But what you were saying, like, it is, like, right now, for me, it's mad hard to weed out people right now. But that's why I keep my distance. And for anybody that see this in my personal life, like this episode, and hear, hear me say this shit, it's nothing personal towards nobody right now. Nah. It's personal with me. You understand what I mean? I'm trying to figure where I want to go these next 10 years. I've been feeling like I've been hypocritical towards myself the first 27 years of my life or some shit because I always say, yo, I want to be straight by 30. I want to be this by 30, and I'm not. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, damn, have I been giving my energy to the wrong shit, to my friends all the time, you know what I'm saying? Or to a girl all the time or... Or to a nine to five all the time, that's, you know what I'm saying? That's why we're here now. Yeah, so I wanna I wanna like really get myself together, bro, mentally. And we we was chilling yesterday and I said that shit out of nowhere, right? I said, yo, I need a break, bro. I'm not all the way there. And you was like, Yeah, we're a couple weeks away from a break. And and you put me back on track. I'm like a couple weeks. Yeah, I, I need a quarter. break. <laughs> it's four quarter, nigga. We got fifteen, nigga. Don't let up. Don't but, let up. That's yeah, three, that's three, why you stay go. in the game. That's why you go through the shit you go through early in life so you could you see your mom's working two jobs when, and taking you to school, you know what I'm saying? Then you get that work ethic and all that extra shit. But um But I, I we said that to say that it's a difference in the generations where as this youth how I'm saying it's harder to weed out who yeah. is who and who is really real. With this youth, they tell they you so and they show you. I so love that shit. So like, yo, I, I love it. it. That's why I have so many young dudes. And they be the pussy ones, you. too. They be like, nah, I don't like you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they tell you. <laughs> you be like, boy, I fuck you up. They be like, okay. Okay. I just don't want to hang out with you. <laughs> I don't fuck with you, though. Like, you do mad clown shit. I be like, oh. Mad clown that's shit. That's how they do it. So, they, they, the generation is different. They, they outspoken, like and they not going to allow somebody like Trump. That's why I said he don't know like you the kids me, that was 16. You talking, shit, you talking shit my grandfather used to talk before he died, and I ain't, I like, ain't like it. And my pops ain't like that and, shit. And, my, and my homie Donnell, cool as shit. Matter of fact, he got me some pussy. Word up. Word he got me some pussy and some hat. Okay, so I don't know what you talking about. Donnell cool. But Donald not. So the, 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 youth, the youth that was 15, 16 that you wasn't accounting for four years ago came of age and yeah. told you get the fuck out of here. Yeah. yeah. That's not just I'm black saying. youth, white youth, and Latino youth. That's Asian fact. youth too. The youth said be gone. Guy. Okay? You corny, your rhetoric is trash. It's brother. not even funny to me. It's funny to us because we know Donald Trump. They don't know that nigga. Yeah, they don't know him. They're like, get him the fuck out of here. Yeah, we need a president. We need somebody that know about politics. But yeah, hope hopefully y'all. Listen, that's the guy that was with Obama when I was ten, right? Yeah, the cool guy. That's Lyndon B. Johnson. That's cool Joe. <laughs> um, for one big man.